Hello, this is Enterprise Television News Headlines. I am Kemi Omoshebi. To boost electricity in Nigeria, the World Bank has approved $486 million credit and scale up facility. The Senior Communications Officer of Nigeria, Olufunke Olufon, has disclosed this in a statement said that the International Development Association facility is for rehabilitation and upgrading of electricity transmission, substations and lines. He said it would also enable the distribution companies to supply consumers with additional power. The President and Chairman of Council Shattered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, Professor Shegu Ajibola, has urged bankers working in financial institutions to be certified by the Institute, stressing that non-professionals currently working in financial institutions would not be able to hold key positions in the sector. In South Africa, Rand steadied against the dollar in early trade on Monday, holding a near three-year high touch on Friday after President Cyril Ramaphosa said his government was committed to policy certainty and consistency and that tough decisions would be taken to close the physical gap and stabilize debt. On the foreign scene, Japan's export grew in January for a 14th point straight led by brisk shipment of China-bound hybrid cars and electronics parts. Government data show that exports grew from 12.2% on year in January, beating economists' prediction for a 10.3% increase. Experts said that the Japan's export will continue to expand in the coming month, led by demand for the semiconductor-related products that boosted export in 2017. On the entertainment scene, Marvel's African-oriented comic book adaptation, Black Panther, is on track to become the most successful movie at the box office for a film with primarily black cast, generating an estimated $192 million over its three-day opening weekend. The movie, directed by Ryan Kogler, has earned $192 million in the U.S. over the Friday-Sunday period, according to estimates by the studio. Over coming weeks, the action adventure is expected to still pass $350 million domestically and could well surpass $400 million. Moving down to sport, Manchester City are ready to rival Real Madrid's interest in Eden Hazard but would have to shell out a British record of €150 million Euro to sign him from Chelsea. Hazard's current contract expires in another two years and the Blues would be reluctant to strengthen a Premier League rival. But it is understood that they might consider doing business if City includes Sergio Aguero in offer, which Roman Abramovic believed to be a big fan of the Argentina striker. And that's it on Enterprise News Headlines.